video, I am gonna walk through how to make images clickable on your Squarespace website. Now, there are a few things to consider while we go through this. There are different types of images. There are images that are standalone. There are images in galleries. There are background images. So I'm gonna try to highlight all of those uh, for us in the best way possible. So let's get into it. First thing is this, I'll just make it very clear. It is not possible to make a background image clickable like this. So if I click into this section here, you know it's a background image because obviously the elements are sitting on top of it. But as well, if I click into this pencil and I click on background, you'll see here is the image. So if that's where you uploaded the image for a background like this, you can't make this image clickable. But then if we go down here, there's a few things. So this is an image block and this is an image block. But there's a difference. You can see that this image block is connected to this text, and then this image block is just standalone. So the text is separate. Now, what's the difference? Just so we have a quick understanding of that, I'm gonna double click into this image block here. And when I go to design, you'll see here that there are these six options. So all of these offer you the opportunity to make the image a link, but they all look and feel a little bit different as we go through it. So let's, let's talk about that now. So this is an inline image here. This one is set up as a card. So let's go through them. I'm gonna double click into this and you'll see here, as soon as I click into it, to make this clickable, uh, I would add a link here. And the way you add a link is just start typing the forward slash and it could link to any of your pages on the site. So if it's for events, I could add that in and we're good to go. If it's an external site, you add in the domain, HTTPS, blah, 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 Facebook.com, whatever it is, and it'll go to that page. You could also click here to customize the settings even further, but we'll leave that for a different video. So now the link has been added, and if I click out of this and save, you'll see here that if I hover over it, you'll see the cursor change. So regular cursor, and now the little hand. And if I click on that, it'll take me to the events page. So now you have just made an image clickable. Let's go back into the editor. And from here, let's look at this image card again. So now I'm gonna double click into this. For an image card, so this is design number three on this list, you'll see here that when it comes to the link, it gives you a few options. You can remove the link, so there's no link at all. You could have it on the image, or you could have it on the button. Now, maybe it's unfortunate, but technically it doesn't show up on both. So if I hit on image, you'll see the button gets removed. Or if I keep it on button, you'll see here the button shows up. So it's an either or option, but once you do that, you could change the text and then you could change the link here. And it's also very similar for other types of layout. So let's just try poster for a moment. You'll see it fills the screen here with the button. Uh, and then if I click content, you could come in here. Same thing, none on image or button. So you can make those adjustments to whatever style that you have. Let's do overlap, same thing. You'll see again, for all of them, they offer the same features. All right, so I'm gonna change this back to how we had it before, and I'm gonna keep it on the button for now. So that is good to go. All right, so now let's talk about adding links to galleries. So I'm gonna click edit, and here I'm just gonna add a new section. There are a few ways to go about this, and you could either have a gallery set up here like this, or you could have a different type of gallery. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you both. Um, in this case, let's just start with this gallery right here. As you'll see, this is a, a section gallery. There's a section gallery and then there's a gallery block. They're different, I will explain that right now before we move forward so you have a sense of it, but I'm gonna click add section and then I'm gonna click add blank. And so now there's this blank section here and now I'm gonna click the plus sign and then add in a gallery. Oh, so I was gonna add in a gallery, but it looks like Squarespace keeps adding it and removing it to different sites. Let me see if I have it on another sample website. So it looks like they actually have removed the gallery option at this moment in time. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what's happening. Um, it's come, it's gone over the last few weeks, so hopefully it comes back soon. But for right now, then I will just focus on this section here. So again, this is a section gallery versus a gallery block, which I can't show you right now. But for a section gallery, you would hover over this and you'll see this little picture right here, picture icon, click on that. And then once you're in here, this is where you could start to link different images. So you could click on the image, you'll see a little blue box come up, and then from there you could add a link. So I'm gonna just say home, and you could add a description, but you don't have to, and then I will hit close. All right, so that is linked up. Now let me get out of here. So let me hit save. 
and then you'll see as I hover over the image specifically, you'll see that the little hand shows up. And if I click on that, it takes me to the relevant page. So that is how you make images clickable on your Squarespace website. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, I have some resources for you that I bet will be helpful. Check out the link down below where you could access more resources that are free for you, for your website, for your online presence, for your design, all of that. Check out the link below. With that, if you got value from this video, let me know by hitting that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll make sure you get updated every single week. We publish a new video every single Friday. So when you hit that subscribe button, you will be notified. And with that, have a great day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.